features with Interite Workspace is the Interite Response Clickers. Um, students will receive a clicker that they program with their student ID number. And I put together PowerPoint presentations that have questions embedded in them. This icon in the bottom left corner shows that this is an Interite question. Um, to make the questions, you click on add-ins, and as you can see it says response. Um, I will just show you how you edit the question. When I first put together all the PowerPoint slides, I type in all the questions. I go back in later and I click on add-ins and go through and do each question. You can see I can decide what kind of question it is, numbers or letters, are there choices, how many choices there are, and um, really you can't have ten. And then how many points a question is worth, I select the right answer. I decide if the kids get more than one chance at the question. And then the lowest amount of time um, that I can select. And now we'll look at an Interite workspace. This is something I use on a daily basis in my classroom. What I do is I take a photograph using this feature, this tool. Um, I capture a photograph of a Word document or a PowerPoint slide and I essentially am making a slideshow. Instead of having transparencies for an overhead projector, everything is in my Interite workspace. The workspace does have layers. This um, was an activity where students were thinking of vocabulary words um, with a partner. So I wanted to be able to show them what the book's answers were for each one. I gave the students time to work. I click on this, which is a layer and it puts in what the book's answers are. It's a very handy feature if you want to hide this for the students what's underneath there. This is very much like a teacher having a piece of paper over an overhead transparency and then uncovering as they go down. You can change the transparency of it. You can change the color. I go back and forth. Um, Valentine's Day is coming, so you want a Valentine color. And do right, things Let's like take that. a look at the animated clock, which also works as a clock timer. We have used this when we play games, especially if such as a, it's a matching game or something. You can have it regular clock, you can have it be this clock, you can change it between 12 hours and 24 hour clock. It can be a timer, stopwatch, reset. It can be um, where you have an alarm that you're going to set and have the alarm go off. It can also be a countdown clock. You can change, have numbers on there or not have numbers on there. This would be useful, I would think, with elementary school kids when they're working on telling time. I can see where you'd want to put this clock up here. You can change the size. Put the clock up here and have kids tell you what time it is. And it is accurate. It's the computer's time.